Hey guys, so we got a called Slick here at Entrance Park. And you might have seen it in my last couple of videos, but I haven't really shown my new suit yet. This is the trio black from Bouchot. And even though it's black, it still has some nice red highlights on the top just to be visible when you're floating around. I think it's my favorite colored suit so far. This is my third one from them. And I don't know, I just really like the style of it. And of course, got my carbon fins. But I just like to show you guys my new stuff when I get it. And uh, so far, it's been really good, really warm. Um, some of my other suits, a couple holes in it by now. It's been a couple years with them. So it's really nice to get something nice and warm. And uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll be heading out to Vancouver Island. Uh, my day's off this week. So I'm pretty stoked to do some spear fishing. It's been a while. The last couple times I went out, not really the greatest visibility and stuff. So I think we're heading out to the Souk Port Renfrew area and uh, find some beaches or stuff around there. I don't think I'm going to bring the new boat. Just too much to pack when I'm camping. So it'll be another adventure later on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're going to go jump an entrance right now. And I'm pretty excited. It's like I was saying, just had a long weekend and this place is always busy. So I was made a point of being here, I think Thursday before the long weekend, and I picked up all the stuff that was immediately around both docks. So there shouldn't be anything here other than stuff that was dropped this weekend. So see how much litter and cool stuff is in the water. I might head over to the boat launch too. And I was contacted way on the other side of the lake. There's a phone. I don't know if I'm gonna get that today. It's a pretty huge area and it's pretty deep. So I don't think I'm gonna find it, um, but I'm gonna give it a shot sometime later this week maybe. But yeah. I guess let's go jump in the water. No time to waste, so I jumped right into the lake to find some of the trash that had been dropped in the lake during this busy weekend. Thankfully, there wasn't a ton. And pretty early on, I found this cool little earring. I decided to swim from one dock to the other, rather than walking like I normally do, and pick up some of the older trash that might be along the way. And I even found some fish hooks that were snagged in this tree. I could see that this thing in the summer is going to have a lot of hooks on it, but I can't really move it. About a year ago, when I found this gun wrapped in a plastic bag in Chilok Lake, every time I find a plastic bag kind of buried into the mud like this, I really hope there's something cool inside. But this wasn't the case, and it was just plastic, so good to get some more trash out of the water though. For a second, I thought this was the band on an Apple Watch, but unfortunately it wasn't. Like I said, I was just swimming from one dock to another, picking up trash, and then I came across this. I was pretty stoked to find a wallet, and it even had so much cash in it. But the dive wasn't quite over, so I kept on going, and I made my way over to the Jade Bay boat launch. Uh, this place seems pretty popular for magnet fishing. It's kind of funny though because I'm always finding these magnets trapped in the cement boat launch ramps. So if anybody watching this magnet fishes, I highly suggest not going here because you're going to lose your magnet. And then these sunglasses, these Maui gems, are my second best find of the day. And they're actually in pretty decent condition. Check how many sucker fish were just swimming around the shallows here. I wonder if it's spawning season for them. So just got out of the water. Got a decent amount of little trash. This is all between the docks. There actually wasn't too much um, on the end of each dock, which is actually really nice to see. So this is all stuff that has been here uh, for a little while for the most part. There's a few bottles at the end of the dock here, but nothing crazy. But you guys gotta check what I found here. I found another wallet and this one's got cash in it. This is the newer kind of money. 
else? We've got like 140 bucks in there. And looks like there's a ID of someone. So I'll be able to return this to them most likely. But it's always pretty sick. So super happy found that. And I got this one little cool earring too. <coughs> so it's kind of like a silvery leaf or something like that. Wow, looks kind of pretty. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad little find. So quick show you all the stuff we found in there. You got all your BCAA, got some bank cards, Boston Pizza gift card, SO cards, care cards, some guests and footlocker cards, Castle Foam Park card, got some good stuff on there. Subway, always good too. <laughs> but yeah, so you can see here, we got his ID, it's all covered up. But uh, should be able to get this back to him, no problem. I don't know, because like, that was five years ago. <laughs> Every single card, well, that when I had my... <laughs> see? Because these are only good for one year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, everything you're ID there is expired. Yeah. You have your high school cards, high school card, a bunch of random gift cards, and oh, this Whoa, and that. Wow, service cards, we don't even get those anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, yeah, back when I, I can't imagine how much how cheap fuel was. Oh, BCAA card? Man, those things don't even. That's what a chip looks like after five years of being in the water. <laughs> yeah, so the oldest wallet I've ever found was under for 15 years. Oh. It's yeah. pretty wild sometimes. I know, that's crazy. <laughs> See, this right here, in the money, wow. This right here, that green is all from uh, seawater algae. Okay. And so it's kind of died off now because it's obviously sitting in fresh water. I was, like, I was actually five. amazed though, but like the wallet's really not even that bad. Yeah, I know. That's kind of why I was like, I'm like, I kind of just really want the nostalgia of my wallet. Yeah. Cause like, that's the most fun part. Yeah. It's Almost like, just throw some shoe polish on there and you're set. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, like, I got the fish in the truck for you. Sure, man. In the car. Yeah. That's pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thanks, man. Oh, no problem. Then I got some dollars for you as well. <laughs> so, yeah, no. Sick. Yeah. So, returned the wallet, and he's a fisherman. It's like a nice, cool jacket, and uh, got some fish for dinner. So, thanks, man. No, no problem. So, just got home from returning that wallet, and he gave me a nice new jacket. <laughs> so, I'm super thankful for that. Um, it's pretty awesome to be able to do what I kind of do. A lot of our stuff, we start out diving around, just clean up trash. And if we find cool stuff like the wallet, that's just super cool. And when I get to return it to the owner, that's even better. Stuff like this wallet that's been underwater for five years, he never thought he was going to get that back. And yeah, it's nice for them to get the cash back, but it's just a really cool story um, for him. A lot of nostalgia for the wallet. So the story behind this wallet and how it ended up in the water. He was saying because he's a fisherman, he's always out and his clothes are always wet. So that's the particular wallet he uses when he's out on the boat. And there's always like algae he's saying growing on the little ID cover. But the reason he was swimming with it is he doesn't mind if it gets wet. But I guess this time he forgot to zip up his uh, pocket and his shorts. So I guess it ends up in the water. But it's super cool to get it back after that long. And yeah, he was super thankful. And I got a bunch of fish for at least the next few nights for dinner. Um, that'll do pretty well. <laughs> Thanks to some of my Patreon supporters. Uh, it really helps do some of these trash cleanups. Gas prices these days are insane. So just driving around cost me a fair bit. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Take care. Have a good day.